It was a surprise move. President Donald Trump fires FBI Director James Comey. A temporary replacement is in place tonight. Thanks for joining us. Welcome in. I'm Jim Dunaway. I'm Sherry Jackson. Press Secretary Sean Spicer said the president was acting on the recommendation of Attorney General Jeff Sessions and the Deputy Attorney General. Here's a photo of Jeff Sessions' recommendation letter. In it, he calls for a fresh start to the FBI's leadership. Tonight, CBS 42 News national correspondent Kenneth Craig joins us live from Capitol Hill following this developing story. Kenneth? Well, Sherry, this really was a stunning series of events that came down in the late afternoon, early evening, and just a few hours after the FBI revealed Comey had overstated key testimony about Hillary Clinton's emails. President Trump fired FBI Director James Comey after Attorney General Jeff Sessions and his deputy Rod Rosenstein urged him to do so after Comey's handling of the Hillary Clinton email scandal. Rosenstein said Comey failed to acknowledge he made serious errors in the Clinton investigation. Comey's firing comes as the FBI leads the investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 presidential election and whether President Trump's campaign associates were involved. The FBI was investigating Donald Trump as a potential target of criminal wrongdoing. Comey's surprise firing shocked many here on Capitol Hill. The Republican chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee said he is troubled by the timing and reasoning of Comey's firing, releasing a statement praising the former FBI director for being more forthcoming with information than any FBI director he could recall in his tenure. If the administration had objections to the way Director Comey handled the Clinton investigation, they had those objections the minute the president got into office. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and other Democrats are demanding an independent prosecutor take over the Russia investigation. And Director Comey, now former director of the FBI, James Comey, was actually in Los Angeles speaking to FBI agents and staff members before an event tonight when all of this broke. We understand he found out about his own firing by media reports on the TVs inside the room he was in, Jerry. Kenneth, there was lots of shock in our newsroom, and I imagine with media around the country when this decision came down late this afternoon, did the decision by the president come as a surprise to lawmakers there in Washington? Well, it seems as though it certainly came to a surprise, uh, to, came as a surprise to just about everybody here in Washington, certainly here on Capitol Hill, with the exception of the few people uh, in the very close circle with the president who knew about this decision and the attorney general. A lot of opinions about what should happen now and who should take over the, uh, that FBI role. That's CBS 42 national correspondent Kenneth Craig reporting for us. The White House said it will immediately launch the search for a new FBI director. For now, Deputy Director Andrew McCabe is temporarily taking over Comey's position.